Hey, what's going on, Virgo? Thank you so much for tuning in. All right, y'all. So I'm going to pull the energy for y'all today. Don't forget, flip your roles, take what you need, and leave what you don't need, okay? All right, so you will hear Blippi playing in the background. I have my bonus babies. Um, however, if it's something that you can't tolerate, my bad. All right, so I do understand if you got to move forward, but however... This message will still go through, okay? The angel of balance card comes out, and I like that. So, I feel like you're trying to make some self-honoring choices for yourself, yeah. Indecision comes out, all right? Or you should be. Mm, and envy comes out, Virgo. You got to make a decision about something. So, you're going to have to be balanced, when making this decision because you're going to need to know which way to go and you don't want your ego to lead all right Virgo but otherwise yeah you could be stuck at a crossroads with something or let me see why does Virgo have to be balanced what is this choice about tell me about the indecision ten of wands so well, something may feel like a burden. Okay. Ten of Wands. Hmm. You may have taken on some extra responsibilities or you just got a lot that you're carrying. Eight of Wands comes through. So yeah. So you're going to have to make a decision because there's going to be some type of communication that's going to come through. And this is quick. Tell me about this communication. Yeah, Ten of Swords comes out. And this may make you feel... Look, and the Empress comes out. This may make you feel restricted or something here. But remember, right? You don't want to buy into the illusions, okay? Because sometimes uh, it'd be like our own... How can I say it? own self-imposed restrictions let's just put it that way you know because there's no such thing as obstacles they're merely illusions you can overcome these obstacles i, I definitely feel like you have what it takes right because you are attracting and manifesting um your reality right now you're co-creating at this point and again if you feel like you're stuck or trapped the best way to free yourself is to do what? Is to free your mind, right? So, get balance. Just as the angel of balance says. Because you're going to have to be censored. You got to be in alignment just how the empress says. Okay? So, remain conscious about your energy. Because as you can see, that envy card comes out at the end. So, tell me about this. And decisiveness yeah the will card comes out this right here is 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 a part of the cycle it's a part of the de your destiny and you're getting ready to have a turning point in your life and you definitely want to be grounded when making this decision like this is inevitable basically look at this four wands this is going to help you when it comes down to building your foundation honey progress stability marriage home community whatever that is okay so it's coming down to the boiling point here but why would virgo be stuck at a crossroads with you high priestess comes out because you, you don't have to listen to your intuition first and foremost okay this is the beginning look at that this is just the, this is the beginning of whatever you're co-creating here, okay? But you got to go deep within your subconscious mind, all right? And trust yourself. Some of This is definitely feeling like heavy divine feminine energy, y'all. Um, we got the seven of cups reversed, the two of wands. I didn't even know all these cards came out. The two of wands upright and the six of wands. So you need to be in alignment, Okay. Especially when it comes to your personal values. 
you may be overwhelmed because you got like a lot of stuff that's coming at you. This is all like all, everything that you're manifesting, bringing in that Empress energy. Okay, and when it comes down to you progress, progressing and moving forward, all right, this is it requires duality, but I do feel like this is also about um, togetherness, union. Six of Wands comes out. So, however, you about to be recognized for something. You you getting a victory here, okay? Some type of public recognition that's going to be coming to you for something that you're accomplishing here. But, again, don't worry because your anxiety might kick in. Because you... Ooh, I'm, I'm like, what is this choice? But you already know how spirit they would be like, nah, you gotta use your intuition. We can't we can't tell you everything. We can tell you just enough to prepare you to get you in preparation so when the time comes, you are already in the right mind, right? Right energy. So some of you may have anxiety, alright? Or worry warts. Tell me about the envy card. The king of wands comes out. Why is the King of Wands here? Eight of Cups. So, and the Three of Cups, reverse. So there's some type of envy because it's a masculine energy who's walking away from some stuff from the past. It's like they're leaving behind something and it involves uh, this three of cups reverse. They may. They, it's like they're walking away from a lifestyle. Or a person. Okay. Tell me more. This person is, is definitely in. That energy of. Um, seeing the bigger picture. It's like. They got a vision. But they know it requires them to walk away from. Or, you know, leave behind what no longer serves them. Check out my collective reading, though. Because I talk about that with... It's a man who has gotten this epiphany. And they're ready to commit. They're ready to commit to the journey. They're ready to commit to love. Yep. The devil card comes out in the reverse. And it's going to be some very envious people. Yeah, this may bring some heat your way. This person is releasing those unhealthy attachments. But Spirit is also telling you to release any self-limiting belief system that you may have. Um, or or release your control in some kind of way. Because again, like I said, it's going to it's gonna be some envious people here. Yep, the sun card comes out. Look at that. I mean, I love it. Stay positive. Because this is your new beginning, right? Tell me more about this envy. Why are they, why, why are they envious? You're probably even in your leader, uh, look, leader, leadership energy, basically. You see the bigger picture. You know what vision it, your vision is that you want, and you're going after it. And, and, it's some people that are definitely feeling restricted by that, okay? Yeah, the Eight of Swords. They're feeling, yeah, they they are feeling very restricted by that. A lot of negative thoughts. Because now they feel like, oh, I'm going to be isolated or I'm going to be lonely. Or these people have definitely lost their way. And so, yep, and look at that. And you gaining momentum with yours. Divine Feminine. <laughs> Empress and the Eight of Wands right next to each other. Okay? So, yeah. People ain't going to like what they going to see. Because what they going to see is going to be public. Okay? Ten of Michaels comes out. You're finally free. Now, you got this new opportunity here for happiness. Okay? The past is behind you. Six of Ariel comes out. Your material needs is getting ready to be fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways. Don't forget to give, right? 
seven of Ario. Like you don't have to worry right now. You invested wisely. Your harvest is getting ready to pay off. So just take and review some things and make plans for your next endeavor, Virgo. Peace.